In the last lesson, we took a look at making a stone using the stone wizard and applying the bezel to the stone with the bezel function. Now we'll investigate how to apply a prong setting to a stone. Let's go ahead and make our stone. So we're off to the jeweler's bench. Same as before, stone creation wizard. Leave it as a ruby. Um, brilliant. 0.75 carat. And validate that. Okay. Let's select the stone and choose the belt. This is a very similar process to applying a bezel. This time we have two separate tools, one for the belts and the other for the claws. Okay, select the stone and choose the belts function. Again, automatically the belts function is picked up on the selected stone, matching the shape to the existing stone. You can see here and its size here and it changed its position in relation to the stone as well. In this case that minus 1.38 is the distance it's dropped from the girdle. Now of course we can change our metal here if you so wish but we'll just skip straight to the second tab. The second tab controls the top belt, the third tab controls the bottom belt. In the second tab, we've got the option of turning off the belt altogether, so we're just creating one bottom belt. Okay, uh, we can give it a circular, square, or custom profile. We'll leave it at around at the moment, 0.8 mil, and then go on to the third tab. Again, first thing we can do is untick to remove the bottom belt altogether. We can modify the bottom profile here. Ticking this box will allow us to change the shape of that bottom profile. In this case, we'll just leave it as round. We have a distance measurement, so the distance between the top and the bottom belt. We'll make that two mils. We can apply an angle, of say 18 degrees. Again, we can change it to a circle, square, or custom profile. We'll leave it at circle of 0.8 mil. And down here, we've got uh, some options in bending that bottom belt to maybe compensate for the finger. We'll select select U, and we'll bend it halfway to compensate for a finger. Validate that. So now we have a stone attached to the stone are some belts and what we're going to do is attach our claws to the belts. So select the belts and we'll go to the claw function here. This function is quite extensive so we'll just stick to the basics for now. Here we can see our claws are anchored to our belts and that's because we had the belt selected and they've been input over here. The second tab allows us to modify our claws. At the moment we have one claw and it's duplicated four times around the stone. So we'll start here on the fourth tab which is the claws section. Again we can make it round, square or a custom shape. In this case, we'll leave it at a 0.6mm diameter, but we'll give it a rounded tip. Okay. Uh, we also have the option here of creating a different bottom section. We could, say, have a square shape at the bottom and have it blending up to a round shape on top. And if we go back to this first tab here, we've got the option of changing the height, the length of our claws. Do that by eye or by inputting the information here. 
The second tab allows us to control the offset of the claws from the belt. The green arrow allows us to drag the entire claw, whilst the red arrow, we can just grab it at the anchor points. Okay, what we're doing is adjusting it to fit our stone. We're going to skip all the way ahead to the fifth tab, which is positioning. At the moment, we've got four claws that are duplicated around the stone. We're on free positioning, so if I was to select one of these yellow arrows, you'll notice that our claws are all moving around the stone. And that's in relation to the mirror. Okay, so we can mirror through the vertical plane, through a horizontal plane, vertically and horizontally, or through the center axis. The other option we can have is standard positions, such as a two claw, four claw, six claw. Let's leave it at six claw and validate and inspect. And there's our setting. Now, there were a few options that we skipped over, so Let's go back and take the claw. Right. There were a few options that were skipped over. Let's go back and take a look. Double click on the claws. Now you'll notice that the third tab is unselectable. Just above that we have the claw shape which is straight. We change that to curve. You'll notice we can now select this third tab. On doing so you'll know on doing so, we get these red arrows. Grabbing those arrows, we can control the shape of the claw. Okay, there are a few different options there just have it curved on the ends There were a few options that we skipped over. Let's go back and take a look. Double click on the claws. You'll notice that the third tab is unselectable. Just above that we have claw shape. We would have changed that to curve. On the screen we'll see these red arrows. These arrows allow us to adjust the shape of the claws create some bends to bend the claws. Okay, there are a couple of options there. Now perhaps we're trying to simulate what the setting would look like with the stone set, or maybe we're just trying to add some flavour to our design. Have a bit of a play with that. So the next thing we're going to look at, we're just going to hide our setting and our stone and create a new one. This time we're going to create a pear shaped stone that is 5.53mm by 7mm. 
going to select the stone and create some belts. Top belt, one mil round wire is fine. Bottom belt, the two mil distance, 10 degrees and 0.8 mil wire will be fine as well. Okay, setting a pair is not as easy as a round stone. There are many ways of doing this. We'll take a look at having, say, two double claws at the back of the pair and one triangular claw at the front of the pair. We're going to select the belts and then the claw tool. By default, we have two round claws at the rear of the stone. Uh, 0.8 mil round will give them a rounded tip. By default, we have two round claws at the rear of the stone. They are 0.6 mil round wire. Give them a rounded tip and we'll adjust the offset. Okay, that looks good to me. Let's go to position and over here we're going to click on the plus to add in a new claw. Let's place this claw at the tip of the stone and it's duplicated all of the parameters of the previous claw. So it's 0.6 mil round wire with a rounded tip. Since we're in position, what we can do is go around, select on this yellow arrow to reposition our claw. We'll grab this sphere just to bring it in closer to the other claw. Make our double claws. There we go. Now we need to add another claw on the nose. This time, click on plus. Claw is in the right spot, but we're going to go to section, custom section. Select on the library. In the library, go to 2D symbols, prongs, and down towards the bottom, you'll find one called V sharp 01. Select that with a double click. Wow, it's massive. So we're going to have to scale that down. Grab these arrows and pull it down. Oh, that looks about right to me. Down the bottom of the claw, I'd like that to be round wire. So we're going to create a different bottom section. We'll make that 0.8 mil round wire. Going into offset, tweak its position, make sure it's touching the stone. A bit more. There we go. Let's validate that. Easy.